The water is like such a safe place. There's a, a funny story that I thought my dad was a surfer who got eaten by a shark my entire life. Because <laughs> I got a boogie board and a wetsuit um, inherited from him. And so I felt really close to my dad when I came to the beach. We also spread my grandfather's ashes at the beach. So it was always kind of like super familial mm -hmm. for me. And then growing up in the ocean, meaning something so symbolic to me religiously, mm -hmm. um, ended up being just like a duh, you know, moment. Cause my whole life it's been, if I'm upset, I'm gonna go to sit and park my car at the marina. Or I remember going and getting like a large McDonald's fries and my mom and like parking at the marina and just watching, you know, watching the water. And that was like a treat for me. So yeah. it's always been, it's always been peaceful. The entirety of this album was based on my spiritual change. If there was no spiritual change, there'd be no album. So like, obviously career is a big thing for you. Mm -hmm. And then is your ultimate goal, like, you know, nature, to have the kids flown around, is that where you want to end at? Like, the what's your gag goal? is, I got told in ceremony that I'm never allowed to stop singing. That if I stop singing, I will lose my mind. Whether it's I'm sitting at a coffee shop, whether it's I'm a music teacher, whether it's I fucking sing to people while I birth their children, yeah. don't know, I'm never allowed to stop singing though. It's about finding the routes in which I can sing, even if it doesn't mean being a famous singer. It's the singing itself that keeps me alive. It can be lonely. Life is super lonely. Yeah, like, yeah. I think you can get it caught up in that. Yeah. Like, for me personally, like, I love for people to feel like they have a sense of belonging. Humans cultivate that with each other, you know? Art and creating can really make you feel like you're in something. I've only been to the Redwoods once, and I'm just excited to be in so much nature. My entire religion is so nature based. So, to be doing a road trip that involves literally placing ourselves in nature every day. It's just really tight. Something about being in the forest makes me feel fucking young. You know what I mean? Not even just me, but like humans. I hate to be like right now, but like these motherfuckers is old. All this shit is so much older than us. Yeah. Yeah. And we think we run this bitch. That's the craziest okay. part. <laughs> me and all the homies hate climate change. <laughs> As long as it's not stagnant, we can do it. The fresh water you have tasted. Oh, hey, it's just green water. Mm. Like, it tastes so good. Wow. It's, and these are real good. Dave is like, you guys are fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> because I just wasn't ready to have people in my spiritual business, but I also wasn't ready to have them misinterpret what the song was about. Like, the song is about dead people, and I put the song out, and here's music blogs posting it, like, Kevani talks about being at, meeting someone at the altar and her lost lover, and I literally quoted the tweet, like, y'all, this song is about dead folks. And I feel like music is subjective, you know what I mean? Like, people can hear the song and hear whatever story they want to take. I guess that's also the joy in art because I had people hit me up and be like, this song helped me understand my breakup. And I was like, okay, I'm glad it did something for you, girl. <laughs> Everyone has their ID. Cheers. 
I think the hardest part for me was deciding that that was a song I was gonna drop first. Mm. Why? I couldn't like, figure out like what song made it apparent that I was dropping something that was like bigger and deeper to me yeah. and pretty, but also not exactly dark on b To me, Alter encapsulated like the beauty of the album, but also like sonically what I was getting away from. And not to say I was get I'm at all getting away from R&B because I could never. But I feel like it just it just made sense to go first. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. In the last year, I've learned so much about grief and beyond grief, how you can alchemize it. You know what I mean? How you can transform it. And that never until I made Ocha, until I you know got into ceremony and was guided by some fucking incredible you know spiritistas and and I remember being told like some of these people will be better in death or posthumously than they would have been to you as a human. I guess really understanding that death isn't the end of it, it's kind of like a new beginning. You know, it took like spiritual discipline and like sitting and developing my connection and developing my understanding and being patient. What kind of things did you have to do to develop the relationship though? Like, to I mean, it's a two-way street as much as what it would take for me to have a relationship with someone who's alive. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Before I take this seat. You're not just going to meet someone and do nothing and then they just start right. coming up all the time and you and calling themselves your friend. You know what I mean? I had to actively show them like, I'm listening, I'm paying attention. And then they just start yapping, so. <laughs> then it's just like, okay, I need y'all, relax. But. I think that a lot of people think that spirituality is like some type of superpower. I'm gonna be able to see the future, I'm gonna be able to da 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 da. Really, all this shit is, is something holding us accountable in a really harsh way. That's all that, that's all that it did for me. You know what I mean? Like, that's the blessing. I think that I'm a very like burn my hand on the stove kind of like learner. And I think if I hadn't gone through things as severely as I did, then I wouldn't have learned them in order to like really live in like the learned version of that life. coming to the river since the beginning of it all and um, I'm emotional. This is my mama. Um, she's the reason I'm alive. This river is the reason that I know joy, that I know happiness, that I know all the things that make life worth living, that I am healthy, that I am just abundant and I owe it all. I owe it all to this. I'm emotional, so I might go cry now. Love you! <laughs>